It is the morning of our second day here in New York City and we are heading out to explore. <laughs> Good yeah. We are going underground for lunch today. We are at a subway station and they have the hall down here. Salteñas in Bolivia, in Santa Cruz. The bread part is unique to a Salteña. Yeah. This one tastes just like it. So. In Santa Cruz, I remember being juicier. But I don't know that. Yeah, that's good. I mean, it's only the second time in my life I've had Salteñas, but I think it's good. So here is the sandwich. Looking really good. All right. All right, here we go. You have it upside down, by the way. So it has all the taste of the one in the past. Just way more meat, of course. And this is shredded. Yeah. So this shredded pork with the onions, carrots, and the sauce. The sauce is good. The bread is really good. I like it. Okay, Hilton took a bite before I could start the camera. This is really good. It really made the, the, the flavors are really good. The meat. Great. 10 out of 10. Alright, we'll leave you a lot of party. You nailed it. Highly recommend. Come to New York and come to Bolivia These are really good saltines. Yum. I wish we had these in Oregon. Alright, last bite. I think the word is out that Bolivian food is good because there's been a line most of the time for pickup. Alright, now we're heading to Central Park really quick before we go to the vessel. Wow, we just came out and here we are. Right here at the entrance of Central Park. We are entering Central Park. We don't have a lot of time today, but a little bit, so we'll see what we can see in this time. This is the okay, subway so craziness. <laughs> so this is Penn Station and it is crazy. To make sure we know where we're going. But look at this, it's like worse than an airport. I guess after a little while you get used to all this madness and you know your way around. We're hurrying along. Hopefully we're gonna make it and be able to get into our time slot at the vessel. So we're at Hudson Yard Shops and Restaurants right now and that's where the vessel is. So for the vessel it is free but you have to get tickets online to reserve your time for when you get to go in and walk around. So, oh I think we are coming to the vessel. I'm seeing first views of it out the window. Woo! We got on time. We are at the vessel. Voila. Woo! What do you think? It is pretty amazing. Enjoy. Thank you. Let's go all the way up first. Woo! <laughs> 
<laughs> we made it to the top. There's the eight flights of stairs here. It's nice and cool up here. The views are very nice. I'll show you more in a second, but yeah, it's a walk. It's a hike. Yeah, there is an elevator. <laughs> There's a line for an elevator for those that need it so they can take the elevator up. So you just would go from the first floor all the way to the top. But, but it's a small elevator, so it probably yes. takes a while. Well, there's a, quite a substantial line, so yeah, we're gonna enjoy the views now from the top uh, of the vessel. Is super slow. You know how much it, it costs? Um, 750 million. <laughs> I don't know. 20. 20 million. 20 million. Walking back down, and the sun is almost setting. Later. I think we're gonna go to the color factory since I open till 10 p.m. So, what do you think? That was very cool. I mean, it's you know, it's simple. It's just eight floors to walk up, take pictures, see views. I'm glad it's free. I think that's great. Hope it stays that way. Um, it's always easier going down than going up. <laughs> but I liked it. I it was good. I'm glad we came and saw it. Hudson shops and restaurants are pretty swanky. Now we're on Spring Street. We are on our way to the Color Factory. Here it is, the Color Factory. Mochi ice cream, ripe strawberry. You get to have one when you come to the Color Factory. It's very like springy tasty when you bite into it. Drink. 
this room is about. There's all kinds of things in here. Here's stuff from the bottom of the Pacific Ocean. What is this pink? Make it yellow pink. the last room, the ball pit. on the wheels in the room. <laughs> interactive experience with lots of little treats and things and they're open till 10 p.m. so that's something you can do later that's still kind of a touristy thing but something you can do in the evening so I think it's the end of day two here in New York City if you have enjoyed following along with us today on our second day in New York City make sure and subscribe ready for more walking tomorrow by tomorrow yes So we go with a flaw. Just love me.